Hi guys, welcome to CA in the financial management. This subject is nothing but hardcore finance. So those people who are interested in mutual funds, in stock markets, in mergers, acquisitions, studying time value of money, where to invest, where not to invest, what will be the risk, what will be the returns. This subject has it all. We are covering the MCQs of the module before we start to be doing our own MCQs. This is chapter of ratios. We are giving you in-depth explanation of every MCQ that's there in the module. So let's see whatever we all have today. Just before that, a reminder, soft reminder, join our Telegram channel for the further updates. Apart from that, our regular courses for costing and for FM, the description is given below. All the MCQs of costing are already there on our YouTube channel. Arrange playlist wise. So in case of any doubts, please you all go through that. Things will be all solved. For FM, let's see what we all have today. So long-term solvency, long-term solvency is indicated by, okay, give me the four options, please. First option, debt equity ratio. B is current ratio. C is operating ratio. Four in this case is net profit ratio. Think of the correct answer. This is quite easy stuff. Now, Let's try to think of the answers. Now see long term solvency. What does that thing mean? It means that in long term, will your business survive? Your business will be surviving if you have enough funds to discharge your liabilities. But which liabilities long term? That's whatever the question says. B is your current ratio. Current ratio is short term solvency ratio. Okay, to be very honest, it only speaks about short term. Whether in short term you have enough current assets to discharge your current liabilities. That is why it is current asset upon current liability. C, operating ratio. That is basically your expenses ratio. That is nothing but your operating expenses upon sales. This tells you that how much portion of your sales is going in terms of your operating expenses. So therefore, that's a profitability ratio. Does not speak about solvency. Just one small thing I'm saying. Do remember, profits are always short term in nature. That is why in FM, you all have one big principle. Look for wealth maximization, long term goal, not a short term goal. That is profit maximization. So C ratio is covered up in profitability ratio. Same way, even D ratio, net profit ratio is that's net profit upon sales into 100. So B, C and D all speak about basically profits or short term solvency. So therefore, it has to be A. But let me explain A by way of the formula. That will be far better. So therefore, your debt equity ratio its formula is nothing but there in the name itself here. Yeah, that is debt upon equity. That tells you for every rupee of equity funds that we all have. Equity will include equity shareholders funds. Okay, that will include the reserves and surplus, all those things also. It will include the preference share capital also. Please do remember that. So for every rupee of owners funds, how much debt you all have. Okay, that is given by debt equity ratio. The objective over here is basically to be measuring the risk due to presence of debt. How much debt you all have taken as compared to the owner's funds. Now do remember if this ratio is super high, say 5 is to 1, that means that debt is very high. Do remember debt has one advantage, one disadvantage. So what is the advantage? Debt is cheaper than equity. So many companies prefer to raise money with the help of debt rather than issuing equity shares or preference shares. Okay. But then there is one disadvantage also. What disadvantage? It's a risky form of capital. Whether you have profits or not, you will have to be paying interest every year. So therefore, it is obviously a two-edged sword. Okay. Now, so therefore, answer in this case should be long-term solvency is indicated by debt equity ratio debt will of course mean long term debt over here that means the debentures or suppose the long term loans that you all have taken long term bonds that you all have issued say like you know all the bonds that companies uh, issue every now and then to get the money with them so debt will include any kind of a debt which is to be uh, repaid after a year so therefore long term debt as such okay so out of a b c d a should be the correct answer yeah that's the correct one Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Bye.